Hey there, YouTubers. You know who this is. Math Fanatic, of course, with even more constructions. That's right. Today we're doing the circumcenter. And the circumcenter is found by creating three perpendicular bisectors of a triangle. And perpendicular bisectors really aren't that difficult to create. Uh, all we need is the football for each of the three sides. The football, what do I mean by the football? Well, uh, when you're bisecting a side, you need to put the needle on one end of the side. That is a segment that represents the side. All I need to do is open my compass a little bit past the halfway point, where I project the halfway point would be. And then I'm going to make an arc um, above and below the triangle. Then I'm going to switch sides and do the exact same thing using the same setting uh, on the other side of that side. And what I get is this football shape, this sort of oval with the points on the ends. And my perpendicular bisector is the line that intersects those two points. So I'm going to go ahead and create that line. I'll start uh, here, I guess. And I will draw that line through. Oops, I'm a little off there. And so there's my football with my perpendicular bisector. So that orange line hits that side uh, at a right angle and it cuts it in half. And all I need to do then is that exact same construction two more times for the other two sides of the triangle. So I set it up like this. I just need to go just past the halfway point so there's no need to overdo it. Something about like that. Make my arc above and below, switch places, put it on the other side, make my arc above and below, and I can throw my line through there. Got to get it to be orange. Uh, nothing's better than an orange anything, really. Throw this through. And I want to draw it as uh, long as it needs to be for it to intersect that first one that I got. So here's my projected circumcenter. That's uh, where it should be. Hopefully when I do this third one, it's going to end up intersecting through that point. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that really quick. Just past halfway. Arc above and below. Switch sides. Same setting. A little difficult for me to get a hold of this. There we go. All right. So now all I need to do is draw that final line there, and yeah, it should be good to go. And I'm a little bit off here, so. Just need to make a small, teeny, tiny little adjustment to this line. Notice it's not going through my football. It's hard if I don't have a straight edge. There we go. And it looks like all three of them intersected about the same place, so that's pretty good. And what a circumcenter uh, does is it allows me to circumscribe a circle about the triangle. And uh, what that means is that I can use that circumcenter as the center of a circle that goes around the triangle and make sure that the three vertices of the triangle are all on that circle. So let's see how good I did. One way to test that is to just go ahead and draw it and see if all three of my vertices are on the triangle. Looks like that hits it. Yeah. Okay, so you go needle in the center at the circumcenter and then put the pencil on any of the three vert vertexes. It doesn't matter which one and then you simply draw your circle around. And it looks like I did a pretty decent job. Goes through there, goes through up there, and goes through over here. And so it's interesting to note the different types of triangles and the effect that uh, they have on the circumcenter. This is an obtuse triangle, and obtuse triangles will always have your circumcenter outside of the triangle. For right triangles, the circumcenter will actually fall on the hypotenuse of the right triangle. And for acute triangles, your circumcenter will always be on the interior of the triangle. Nice little tidbits there. I hope you learned something. If you got any questions, go ahead and type them out, send them to me. 
I'll do what I can. I will talk to you all in a little while.